I am no longer in love with my husband, but I don't ever plan on leaving. I f 29 am no longer in love with my husband m 30 of 6 years, together for 8. The first 5 years were truly beautiful, currently tearing up at how far things have fallen. Towards the end of year 4 we started trying for a baby. After an unsuccessful year and some negative news about his fertility, we decided to stop trying and just see where life takes us. So, my husband decided to quit his job as a police officer, to pursue what he thought was his true passion of personal training. Well wouldn't you know it I found out I was pregnant five weeks later. And that's when it all started. He changed. My pregnancy was horrible to say the least. I was diagnosed with hypermesis gravidurum. I vomited anywhere from two to ten times a day. From the moment I found out I was pregnant. Every day. For the entire pregnancy. And during this time, my husband stopped working. He was studying for his certification and that was his job right now. While I went to work almost every day. Vomiting on the way there. Taking breaks from clients to run away to go vomit. And on one particularly rough night, I did not leave the bathroom floor once, vomiting 15 times that night. Not one time did my husband come up to check on me, to rub my back, offer me company, water, anything. When he finally came up the stairs the next morning, he just looked at me and said, well, what did you expect? I was shocked. Who the EFF was this man? Certainly not the one who treated me like a queen our entire relationship prior. So he continued to not work, trash the house and not clean up, and treated me like shit. However, we could not sustain staying on just my income. Before, he was the breadwinner. He paid for our mortgage and groceries and utilities, while I covered the smaller things like utilities and streaming services. He stopped paying everything, and we didn't even have money for food. I had to eventually bite the bullet and get food stamps and wick, because I would be so hungry from nothing in the cupboards that would make my nausea worse. Fast forward to year 8. This year, our beautiful daughter is about to be 2. We moved upstate to a magical property, but our relationship has never been the same since then. After two years of fighting it out and trying to make it work and him going through the same pattern of being better and trying to treat me like he used to. I now finally realize that this is who he is. This man treated me like a queen until he had me and realized he didn't feel like treating me that way anymore. He constantly snaps at everything I say. He does nothing to contribute to the home. I scrub the house top to bottom on a consistent basis while he will organize the toys and sometimes take out the trash. Doesn't care for the lawn or shovel the snow or rake leaves. We have a lot of land, which requires upkeep, so it all falls on me. He has since stayed consistent with a new job the last year and providing for us slash trying to do more around the house. But he still almost never puts me first, the way he used to. I walk on eggshells wondering what I'll say that will unintentionally piss him off. I dread him coming home or waking up from a nap, wondering what kind of combative mood he will be in when he comes through the door. We fight almost every single day about something I said that he didn't like. You know like asking your husband what time we should leave in the morning to drop the car off at the body shop. That question somehow emasculated him. Anyways, when people show you who they are, you have to believe them, and he has shown me. It took me this long to figure it out. Only now, we are deep in a family together. Our families meshed. A beautiful home in the town where his family lives, and he is a great dad. Our daughter is truly obsessed with him, and he will do anything for her, so I will stay. He doesn't abuse me, or her. He doesn't cheat or steal or cause harm to others. He's just not who I thought he was and who is really is, is not someone whom I am in love with anymore. You are supposed to be excited to see your person, no matter how long they've been away. You are supposed to feel like they are home, and they are the only one who would never hurt you. A spouse is supposed to benefit your life, not hinder it, but I will stay, for my daughter and for my family. I'm strong as hell and I just have to focus on my daughter and I, and keep my chin up. This is my life and I have to make the best of it. I have to wake up every morning and remind myself that this is a choice I am making. A thought out, conscious choice to keep my family together. And who knows, maybe one day I'll be happy again.